Okay, the topic of walking on stairs and ledges is a qu quite uh, complicated task, so I decided to split that up into a number of smaller videos. So in the first video here, we're going to create some uh, testing environment that we can uh, use to assess our movement control here. So I'm going to use a linear stair here and also a spiral stair. Notice the first step here is quite a bit higher than the rest here, so I'm going to offset that down so it's in line with the rest of the steps. So if we give this a quick play, you can see we're actually able to walk up the stairs, but as I walk down we can jump and we actually end up having a little slide also and notice how we're getting stuck on each step and that's also something we want to get rid of so in order to build this I decided to go with another sphere trace and then make sure that our collision capsule stays glued to the ground when we walk on the stairs and then I'm going to try and implement some kind of interp so it moves a little bit more smooth than it does right now. We can expect it to jump a little bit or move kind of with each step as it is right now uh, and it's possible that it can be eliminated completely but that's kind of out of the scope of this video here. So. Inside our motion control pawn, we're going to start off by also making a few changes in here. We're going to take the update capsule height and move that to be called before we update our uh, active position. And then I'm going to disconnect the bliss, uh, disconnect it for now, because I want to be able to see if my what happens when I stick my head into things. Uh, so we're going to connect this up eventually, but for now we're just going to keep it disconnected. So in order to get our capsule to stay on the ground, we're going to use another custom event. We're going to call this check floor. Let's build the sphere trace here. Make sure that you select your navigation channel here that we set up last time so that it traces correctly. And then we're going to build the start and, and the radius points here. So the start point is going to come from the bottom of the capsule, which we're going to find like getting the world location. And we're going to subtract the bottom of the or the half height. So the location is in the middle here, and the half height is going to bring us to this point down here. So while I'm at it, I'm actually going to create a few macros because they're going to be pretty useful in the long run. So I'm going to right click this one and collapse to a macro and call this collision. Uh, capsule location and then I'm also gonna subtract capsule half height which is gonna be this point here and I'm gonna collapse this also to a macro call that capsule bottom I kind of like to color my macros the same color as the return type is if it's a very simple macro. So in this case, I'm going to color this one yellow, but that is a pers personal preference. So 
So out here, we are also going to introduce a new variable because we want to, we have this point right now and we want to have a trace point starting somewhere up here, which will represent our maximum step height. So I'm going to create a variable to hold that. And for now, I'm just going to set this to 32. And then we're going to take this bottom of the capsule and then we're going to add in a vector. Split the bottom part open here and then add in this max step height. And this is going to be our starting point. And similarly, we are going to do that with the bottom or the end point. We're going to subtract, expand this one and plug that into the end. For the radius, we are going to use the capsule radius, so it's going to be the same as our collision capsule, which we also conveniently can collapse to a macro. So when we hit something with this trace now, we should set this to one frame so we can see what it's doing. Then we want to adjust our capsule height. So we're going to make a branch here and check if we get a hit. And if we hit, then we want to set our capsule location. And we want to set that well, the X and the Y is going to be the same as it is currently. But the C part is going to be different. So we're going to create a mac um, vector here. So in order to get the height difference that we need to move it we are going to drag out here and get the impact point and then we want to subtract the bottom of our capsule like that and then we want to isolate the c part here and then we want to add that to the current capsule location So we also want to introduce a small interp here so it happens a little bit more smoothly. So we're going to make a V interp here. So this new point here that we just created, that is going to be the target. And the current is going to be the capsule's current location. So this one is going to go in here. And for now, let's just set an interp speed of 15. And this is a value that we're going to return to and a value that you can definitely play around with yourself. But for now, let's give it a test and see what happens. So as you hopefully can see now, we can actually move fairly smooth on the floor, uh, the stairs. But we still get this little sliding here. This is something that we need to sort out. And also there's a few other issues with this. But let's fix the sliding first.
So once it hits here, um, we can actually just take the capsule and then set the physics velocity. This one to be zero. Like that. Also, we have a few things more we can do here. We want to make sure that actually our capsule does not have gravity when we are walking and if it's falling, meaning that it can't touch the floor, then we're going to turn all on the gravity again. So I'm going to create a variable called is falling. And I want to set that, and I also want to set the capsule's gravity. So if we are falling, then we want to set it to the same value here. So up here we want to call that and we also want to connect that up here and then collapse this part here to a macro as well So what we're basically saying now is that if we are hitting, then we are walking or not falling. And if we miss with our trace here, or it can't connect with anything, then we are falling. So these two things here we're going to add here. So this is the very basic version of the check for event that we just created here. And we're going to continue in the next and see if we can expand on this to also encompass walking on ledges and talk a little bit about some edge cases that we can run into. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.